Hi Aquarius, this is Sean from Charlie's Angel Tarot and welcome back. I hope you've enjoyed the weeklies. And this is your romance um, reading for June. So remember, it's a general reading. If it, um, it doesn't resonate with you, have a look at the moon sign or the rising sign. If you like a one-on-one -on -one reading with me, or an extended reading, uh, or a compatibility reading in love, then please look down below in the description box. There you'll find the link to the website and the email. And you can also click on the little white circle uh, right there and we'll um, take you to the website. And um, if you are a follower, then you know there will be a competition in the next coming uh, weeks. I'll be getting that ready for this week. And I will be uploading it onto the website, so at the end of the week, keep an eye out on the website. Okie dokie, and we're going to have more fun in the near future, and getting ready for the summer. Ah, I love it, I love it, I love the idea of coming together, <laughs> and I love you all, Cyber Angels, and thank you very much for your support and sharing and liking, and please keep on doing that, and it means a lot to me and it makes the tea room absolutely awesome it is already awesome and if you're not a cyber angel yet then please subscribe and hit the bell on all and join us in the live on Monday Wednesday and Friday okie dokie you can also follow me on Instagram and on um, Facebook let's get started with your reading my darlings and I'm using two tarot decks um, that might tell us a little bit more than just the Oracle deck and I've got one card of the Romance of the Oracle deck and an Angel card, an Angel Feather card so if you need support from your Angels then call upon your Angels and you can use the colour on meditation you can eat the colour if it is brown you can eat chocolate or coca-cola or if it's salmon you can uh, eat salmon or wear salmon colour or meditate on the colour it will help you, believe you me I've had many good reports from my Cyber Angels. And here we go. Your first card is the Two of the Major Arcana, the High Priestess. You might be very, very highly emotional and intuitive this week, in the first week of June. This is your romance reading for June. Sorry if I didn't say that. Uh, for 2020 so you might be highly sensitive also because the high priestess represents the god moon the moon goddess and she represents pisces the moon represents pisces and they're very highly sensitive people and intuitive people you also she also placed the, her cards close to her chest you can see her um, wearing the book of knowledge or wisdom she won't let on what she knows so take a page out of her book if there are secrets around you or if you are in a judicial situation why am I saying that only disclose it to your lawyer or to your jurist or person that is helping you stand by you this could be an air sign a Libra uh, a, a Gemini or a, an Aquarium as you've got the Ace of Swords, so if you are going through a divorce, then victory will be yours because the Swords, the Ace of Swords, stand for victory. The Ace of Swords also means new communication. It's a beginning. The Aces are always a beginning. So there might be finally uh, communication might be starting now, and you're seeing the results. So it also um, stands for justice, honesty, clarity, and wisdom. So something will become clear to you whether you are in a divorce or not. Something might become clear to you that a Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarian might be interested in you and would like to start a, a special friendship, relationship, or take the relationship up to a next level because it's a new beginning uh, uh, and, and uh, going up a level is also a new beginning in a relationship so if you are hooked up even if it is for 25 years there could be all of a sudden 
a, a new beginning, something new happening in your relationship, perhaps a new sort of communication, or uh, you might be starting a new study together to get the wisdom. Anyway, it's a beautiful sword and it stands for victory. So whatever is going on, whatever you're planning, whatever you're doing, um, you've got the book of knowledge and you're using it, you're using your wisdom, you're using your intuition, you might decide to plan a weekend away, cut away from the rest of society and go away with your beautiful love. They do love surprises as they are spontaneous, okay? Don't give a Libra the chance to weigh the options. <laughs> the Gemini will be more spontaneous than Libra, but Libra will love a surprise, so long it's done from a pure heart. And uh, Aquarius, yes, they, 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 they'll be stunned, but they will accept it too. Just take them away, take them away from their mother. <laughs> Because I find Aquarius is quite a mummy's boy sometimes, or a mummy's girl. They are very family orientated. Okay. Um, but they're also a free spirit, but they have to have a good reason. In the second week, you have the strength card number eight. Uh, so you are in your power, you're in your strength. Okay, you're stronger than you think. And I love the way she's got this weight. It looks like Granny. <laughs> Granny is trying, <laughs> is lifting the weight, the monster. <laughs> In this case, and Granny's got two sides of it, or, or, of um, two sides. There's two sides to her: the Granny and the child. So be a playful. Be playful. That's what I'm getting from this. You're stronger than you think. You don't have to rely on your Granny. <laughs> Oh, I just said that Aquarius was uh, uh, a mother's child. I don't know. It's just coming together in funny ways. I'm, I suppose it's the cards because I've been laughing and giggling when I was doing the weeklies. I love these cards. They really draw me in. So be playful. Be stand in your strength. Make sh make sure you know your boundaries and their boundaries, and let them know what your boundaries are. There is also money coming towards you because it's also the money house. Or there might be something to do with money. Perhaps he will say or she will say, no, we haven't can't afford that at the moment, blah, blah, blah. This COVID virus has uh, got you out of a job. But, you know, sometimes you need to uh, go away, have a dinner or even if it's the McDonald's or go to uh, go camping that's less expensive than a hotel just to take time out okay be careful how you bring it because you do have the five of swords so walk away from arguments don't get into somebody else's drama just walk away and just say sorry um I'll I'll, I'll speak to you about it later okay you might be right. No, don't give in straight away because you're in your strength. You'll get it done. Okay, uh, Aquarius, you've got the gift of the gab. You can do the walk. You can do the talk. You are an air sign. So after all, you stand for communication. So don't be sharp-tongued. Okay, you can just be romantic. Be charming. And just love yourself and love the other person because that's what you're doing it for for yourself and for the, your partner. If you haven't got a partner, then perhaps it is time that you take time out for yourself and just say to everybody, sorry, I'm leaving for a couple of days or hours, whatever you want to choose. I need time out. Why? Because I'm seeing now you've got the Four of Swords. So you're in your strength. So take that time out and don't go into anybody's drama. Okay? And you might, if you go away, even if it's for a walk or to the supermarket, you might meet a, um, you might meet somebody. Now it is, um, strength is, uh, strength is a Leo. 
so you know that usually you see a lion and the woman taming the lion love and patience heals all so you might meet a Leo or perhaps you are have a new love after a divorce or a separation okay that's gone that's in the past that's the first week okay but it could be happening and you're divorced in the first week boom final on to the next thing so you might meet a Leo or you might already have a Leo in mind it could also be an air sign Aquarius you are in your power because you are an air sign okay and there's a new beginning for you but it could also be a Libra Aquarius or a Gemini that you're meeting now you, it, this is a very a swift action this month and it is very exciting because we are in air we are in Gemini so be careful of how you say things and do things be charming keep that charm going be the salesman or the saleswoman okay you can sell yourself you'll be like a magnet okay you might be balancing things because of, uh, you've started this new beginning and you found out news you found clarity and you might be balancing finances like I said they'll say no we can't afford it blah 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 you will find a way even if it is um, an, ex um, an extended uh, weekend at a friend's place and they might say come on we've got a spare room you need to take time out and you need to get your strength back okay so don't worry about the money you will find a solution you will find the balance it between your heart and mind and home and work front you've got the six of ones and again you've got victory 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 you've got victory at the beginning of the week and victory at the end of the week so by the end of the week your beautiful partner if you're hooked up if not you'll have a partner most probably you'll find somebody to go away with you've got victory you've got public recognition you're going on holiday or moving home with this card you might even get a promotion you might uh, might find out that at the end of the week by the end of the week that you have a promotion and that you just want to take a couple of days off or a, a, a weekend off before you start this new job so you'll be reju rejuvenated and worked away the emotions because at the weekend you've got the four of swords and that means meditation contemplation and evaluation on how to carry on on how you're going to cope with this new beginning and perhaps this new partner or this new position it's an active month a lot of things are going to happen for you and look at that you've got the three of cups so go out there and celebrate with family and friends take somebody's offer if they say okay you need a break you re need to rejuvenate uh, yourself and your relationship to make a fresh start and to carry on and you can think about it relax after you've celebrated you can lay back and relax and dream of what you're going to do next you've also got the ace of ones so like I said a new job a new hobby a new passion but remember passion doesn't last make sure you know their boundaries like I said on Wednesday and that they know your boundaries you don't want to get burned again you want this passion to turn into a proper love and remember once you have love or a relationship with a fire sign you are theirs they hold you in their hands so maintain your own strength your own identity N show your boundaries know your boundaries let them know your boundaries and carry on the way you begin don't start fighting don't be sharp don't be quick and answer quick back because that can cut a sword cuts on both ways and then you've lost what you've got 
Now, you've got the Queen of Cups, so you could be meeting a Libra, because the Queen of Cups is Libra. But don't exclude any of the other air signs, Aquarius, as you've got the Ace of Swords, swords as well. But it could be a Libra. Like I said, Gemini will jump into action when you say, I love you and I've got a surprise for you. Okay? They might not like a surprise, but they are spontane enough to go with you. And the Libra will weigh the options. They'll start thinking about money. Okay? We haven't got money, or we can't do this, otherwise we can't get married, or we can't move in, or we can't buy the couch, or we can't buy a new car, something like that. So, um, take um, your talents, talk smoothly, charmingly, romantically, sweet nothings, but wisely, like the Queen of Cups. The Queen, sorry, the, it's the Queen of Cups, not the Queen of Swords. Nurturingly. Sorry, my my, it's too much blue. So blue, I associate blue with and uh, and grey with um, the swords. It's the Queen of Cups. So the Queen of Cups is Scorpio. So it's not the Queen. Well, you've got the Queen of uh, Swords here, or the King of Swords, but you've got the Queen of Cups. So it's a nurturing person that you will be meeting. A man or a woman, a man with a feminine side, a fa feminine talents like nurturing, loving, caring, passionate, sensual, sexual. So, and sexual is also passion. So be careful that you know your boundaries and theirs. Let them know your boundaries. So you won't be the nurturing person all the time. And it is quite significant because I did say. Um, Aquarius, that you are a mummy's boy or mummy's girl, and we've got this in the second one, and um, that's why I laughed. Be a Gemini, be two in one, okay? Be be like a child, innocent, play more, don't uh, be too serious, um, but be strong, like um, the Queen of Cups. You You haven't reached this stage for nothing. So be nurturing. Be, um, so you could meet somebody that's nurturing, and that is a Scorpio, because the king is Cancer. But don't exclude the other two water signs. Use your intuition, because you've got the High Priestess. That is, the High Priestess, I think, is Pisces. Um, but it, could al it also means s the water signs are psychic, intuitive, uh, emotional people so it is highlighted okay the cups is highlighted the airs are air signs are highlighted and the fire signs you'll have victory so long you do it wisely with love and a pure heart and with emotions love you'll celebrate okay Aquarius I think you will um, get what you want don't worry you've got the gift of the gab now I told you talk know the boundaries know their boundaries keep the communication going watch out how you say it meditate and contemplate think about what you want to say and how you're going to say it and look what you've got heart-to-heart -heart conversations if they love you they will listen to you and they will compromise Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. Find an other solution instead of an expensive and a well-to-do holiday. Compromise. Say we can sp we can spend with Granny or with uh, Joe. They've got a basement flat, and we can have the flat to our own, and nobody will know that we're there so long we uh, switch off our telephones. Boom. It's an option, it's a compromise. Now you've got the salmon, the salmon feather. Now salmon is a fish, and again, it's coming up. Water, water, and really water, emotions. Salmon pink angel feather, treat yourself. 
the angels ask that you take time out purely for yourself today rejuvenate your soul so if you if it is a job related or financial related and you find out you've got a job or a promotion take time out it is important like I said you um, what do they say with taking ac uh, um, with taking action oh how do they say that creation is relaxation I, that's what I'm getting to here but that's not the saying that I was looking for creation is relaxation so you're being busy but you're still relaxing the salmon pink angel feather is presented to you as a symbol of self-love the angels acknowledge that you are a beautiful being who gives generously and unconditionally to others you give your love attention time and service both randomly and when approached the angels however would like you to understand that there is an energetic balance required between giving and receiving there you are the balance card and the caring card is the queen of water okay when you only allow yourself to be the giver you can easily become fatigued that's tired and run down this balance needs to be addressed so that you maintain good health energy levels the angels ask that you work on this area by allowing others to give to you they also encourage you to allow yourself to take a little time out to rest or to enjoy something that rejuvenates you like celebrations and, re um, and something that rejuvenates you and your soul today is the day for a little self pampering okay and the ain there's a lot of angels that you can ask it's basically Archangel Shamiel he is the heart uh, angel um, the um, a angelic chakra angel for the heart besides Haniel okay Archangel Haniel so um, the other symbols for salmon pink angel feather is job satisfaction true vocation found following true vocation and self-love nurturing yourself if you don't need a queen of water you can wear a rose quartz or you can wear cherry opal or rhodochrosite and those are the stones that you can wear to feel close to your Archangel Shamuel. I hope you've enjoyed this reading Aquarius take care and enjoy and remember if it doesn't resonate with you then have a look at your moon sign or your rising sign and don't forget please 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 give us the thumbs up and come into the live and if not I hope to see you back in the next video please share and like stay blessed and have a wonderful time Ciao, ciao.